Hey, hey. Okay, Aquarius. I'm, all, I'm drawn to this deck. Um, this is the Angel Tarot. So we're going to go with it and see what we get. Um, well, I do it this way. Four Aquarius. They will be upright as well. Whoa, mercy. Okay, what we got going on here? Oh my goodness. Okay. We had something fall apart. Something fell apart. Um, at some point in time. You know, we had the tower moment. Um, something went down. That's Archangel Uriel. Um, there was a disruption. You know, it, this card warns of disaster, aids in transformation. Now, that's what I'm getting. We had something happen, and someone has had a transformation. So, this here is the hangman. Um, Archangel uh, Neshaw. I hope I'm saying it right. Um desire for knowledge protects from liars evil spells and bad spirits okay what this feels like to me and i'm gonna be honest with you um you've had something go down in a connection of some sort now we've got the hangman here because one of our people is just you know trying to figure this out you know something went down but it's almost like Whatever it was, it's awoken something in them. So it's like realizing something. Okay, then we have here the devil. Uh, Samuel. That's Archangel Samuel. Um, the severity of God. It says seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead. Teaches the occult and magic. Now, here's the thing about this. What I'm getting. Um... I'm getting that this is seduction, but it's, it's, oh my goodness. This is a soulmate connection is what it is. Um, it's like someone is so connected to someone and they feel it. Uh, there is a seductive feel to the connection, but there's also a love feel to the connection. Page of Cups. Iazel, God who rejoices. Divine comfort gives consolation and protection from one's enemies. I'm telling you, what this is, is somebody's protected. They're protected and they know it. Now, here's the thing. They've got someone. It's a soulmate connection. And what this feels like is you are protected. You know, you've got a soulmate that's coming into your life. Some soulmates are not meant to be here. You know, stay in our life. They're meant to teach us lessons. So, for some of you, you know, that can be about a downfall. And, you know, it's going to leave you really seeking knowledge to figure out what made that tower fall. You know, how did this happen? You know, how did I let this happen? Learn the lesson. That's the thing. But for some of you, this is seductive. It's seductive, but it's not, it's love as well. You know, Page of Cups offers love. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now we want to get right here. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. The Favorable God. This is um, Aladiah. I want you to look at the two rings. You see what I'm saying? Um, for those of you that this is meant to come together, this could lead into marriage. Divine grace cures rage and pestilence, absolves the guilty. So, something that may have went awry at some point in time in the past may be coming to an awakening that 
it's not over. It's like what comes around, it's like something's coming back around. Someone's coming back around. Now, is this in this life? It's a possibility it could be past life. I feel like it is soulmate. So, for some of you, it could be someone coming back around in this lifetime. An ex. Uh, for some of you, soulmate that you, you don't know. I mean, you may know, you're going to know them if you don't. There's going to be a big connection. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and we got right here the Eight of Swords. Now, um, this is Mebahel, and this is God, Protector, and Savior. Truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. So, there is protection here, and you need to know that. Um, I feel like that this connection is going to be so strong. For some of you, like I said, this is a lesson. And that's where you're going to have to, um, this connection is that strong. You're going to have to follow your intuition. Because for some, they're meant to be with you. A life partner, true love, that soulmate. For others, listen. And, you know, your intuition can make it, you know, if you follow your intuition, may not be as bad a lesson as it could be if you don't. That makes sense. They could steal something from you. Um, now you're protected though. I have to give you that. You're protected, but that, you know, at the same time, it doesn't mean that they can't take something from you if they're not the one. Okay, then we have two of swords. Um, Aniel, God, Lord of all virtues. And what it says is breaking the cycle, lifts opposing barriers, brings victory. So it's, it's almost like someone is breaking a cycle. Okay, they're ending a cycle. Um, if this is someone coming back around, uh, something may have ended for you a long time ago, for those of you that this, you know, is something, a, an ex coming back around. And it's like there's an awakening now that, you know, someone really loves someone. And it's, it's almost like um, the angels are trying to bring two people back together. Now... If this is past life and you don't know this person, um, there was lessons that had to be learned before this could come back, come together, you know, come together uh, to stay together for those that it's meant to stay together. And um, there was barriers and there was, you know, breaking of circles and, and such. Uh, but that brings you victory. Okay, then we have Queen of Cups. Um... God the Redeemer, it's a number 20, um, Pahala, and it says redemption serves against enemies of religion, governs chastity. So, let's see here where we're at. Ace of Wands, oh, oh my, oh, patient God. See, this is like um, the angels are bringing two people together for some of you. Now, some, it's a lesson. Like I've done told you, I can't tell you who is who. You're going to have to feel into this. You're going to have to follow your intuition. And uh, uh, so much you're going to feel a connection, right? But at the same time, some soulmates give lessons and some are meant to be with you. So it's following your intuition. Um, fertility and mult multiplicity. Protects against despair. Helps one to be patient. So, you need to be patient. You're going to have to be patient. And you're going to have to follow your intuition on this. And allow it to kind of play out. You know. We got the perfect pair. Because we got the Queen of Cups here. You're one of these. You know. You're coming in as one of these. I, I don't know which. Um, because I have the King as well right here. King of Cups. And that's Rochelle. And um, God seeing everything. Number 60, it looks like 9. And it says, uh, Restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. So, if someone comes into your life and they take something from you, um, I feel like you're going to find it out. Now, for those of you that, you know, you've been with this person this was a relationship that's meant to come back together. 
it's like I feel like there's going to be some clarity on what happened or what was done or who took what who took this, who took that, or if someone took something. You know what I'm saying? It's like we get um, clarity. And then, you know, on the other hand, if this is past life and you don't know this person and you've been praying for the one, it's like some of this stuff, you know, it's been learned through other relationships um, for you and for them. Lessons learned. You see what I'm saying? For those of you that you don't know them in this lifetime, and you've been, you know, you've been praying for the one, and it comes together. That's what I'm getting with that. Yeah. I want to, um, whew. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, for some of you, this does not have to be marriage. This does not have to be true love as far as romantic. This can be a life partner as far as a friend, um, a family member, you know, that comes into your life that, because some family members are soulmates, some friends are soulmates. It doesn't have to be romantic, but for some of you it is. Okay, romantic. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, un unconventional, string alone, one night stand. See what I'm saying? You're going to have choices. You're going to have to follow your intuition because you could be facing more than one soulmate. And some soulmates wear a mask and, you know, could be out for the wrong thing. It says not showing true feelings, hide, pers personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So, yeah, um, you have to remember that. Let's take one of these. Okay. Got that one. And it says, It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So do for yourself. Take time for yourself. Enjoy yourself. You know, and um, try to really get in tune with your intuition. So that, you know... When this comes along, or if it's already happening, you'll be able to make the right decision. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. There you go. I sort of got it's beautiful um, to an extent. But, you know, it, it is beautiful. It's got a beautiful feel. But it's also got a feel of, hmm, you better follow that intuition choose wisely because you could uh, you could be in the lesson or you could be in the one so that's what I've got for you uh, please do give a thumbs up please do um, subscribe share out the readings and I appreciate each and every one of you much light and love till next time